<laughs> what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of <laughs> Microsoft Flight Simulator. I definitely got the actual name of said Microsoft Flight Simulator, but today I'm hoping that this works. I have not tested it. I haven't done anything. What we're doing right now is the sun's pretty much going down in Phoenix. We're going to do a midnight-ish, dawn, dusk kind of flight. We're going to go from Phoenix all the way to Sedona, but here is the kicker. I have no idea what I'm doing. Do you want to know why? Because we are actually going to be on a, I guess you call it like a voice server for people who are like practicing to get like their tower controller stuff. Like it's basically like a flight sim within a flight sim. So there's actually people that are playing this game that are just being like air traffic controllers that are just playing or like flying in the planes. Like this is insane. I don't really know how to describe it. But I'm hopefully going to be trying to take off as legit as possible by talking to Tower and also talking about altitude and heading and all that other stuff. I'm hoping this goes right. This is my first time. I just loaded up everything. I am not sure if this is going to work at all. But let's hope, please God, I hope that this works. So I'm going to connect to the, I'm going to connect to the voice server. And I'm, I'm hoping that this works. Like there's someone who's operating the Phoenix Tower right now. Oh God. Oh God. What's my, my, my call? I didn't do my stupid. I could have my name on my stupid bottom, but I, I didn't change it. I can change it in here, but my call sign is WZD007. So it's whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Oh my God. I just got so nervous. <laughs> Tower. I am checking my mic. Is it working? Maybe I need to actually change my. Oh, dude, I have a headlight. Let's get ourselves kind of up and running here. Look, so we, we're just like sitting. Oh, man, we need to hurry up. Daylight's burning. <laughs> so we'll turn on all the fuel pumps. We'll turn on all the lights just because we're, uh, you know, not going to die. Make sure that our parking brake is set. Oh, we're going to turn on all the batteries and master. There we go. Now we're doing things. Okay, thank you for the warning. I appreciate it. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with fire. I was like, wait, why is everything not turning on? We got it. We're good. Nailed it. Okay, cool. So now we're now we're actually on comms. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. So now what we need to do is we need to go to uh, comm. He is at, uh, we need to go to 12090. Tower, this is Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Can you hear me? Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, Phoenix Tower, he 5x5. Five five. <laughs> oh my god! Hello, South Lowe, 948, Hello, oh. 948, thanks, Tahoe. Hello, wind 250 at 6, runway 25 left, cradle land. Cradle land, 25 left, Southwest 948. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to get out of this plane. I just need to get out. So who is this guy? Is that him? Is he staring at me? Hello. Hello, ma'am. Okay, we're gonna take our flaps to uh, 13%. Maybe if we can, close enough, 16%. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going all the way to Sedona. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do uh, with autopilot. And it's about a 45 minute flight. So we should be pretty good. And my flight plan says that we are going to be going at, I believe, 7,000 feet. So right about here, you can see me setting that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to increase our vertical uh, speed. So that way when we take off and everything and we turn on the autopilot, that's when Stop it's going to... Southwest 148, welcome to Phoenix, like eight left when able. That's when it's going to uh, kick on. Oh my god, and also all these people that we hear are all just playing the simulator. That's it. <laughs> it's insane. Thank god for push to talk. Southwest 148, taxi left Bravo, Tango Delta to the ramp, and have a good day. Bravo, Tango Delta to the ramp, thanks. Southwest 148, thanks. Good God. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm freaking out right now. Okay. So now what we're going to do is look, oh, look at my little tail light. Beep, beep. Yeah. We're losing daylight. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. That's cool. This is whiskey Zulu Delta. Can you hear me? Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Phoenix style. Yes, so I can. All right. Waiting instructions. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Um, you went on to an taxi taxi waiting for permission to, um, uh, what, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to Sedona, and I'm ready to go. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Okay, so I have a few questions about your flight plan. 
verify you're flying IFR. I am flying IFR. This gives you the Delta Roger, verify your aircraft type. Uh, I mean, the aircraft equipment suffix. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. Whiskey Zulu Delta. Uh, maybe a Garmin 1000? I have no clue what equipment means. Hey, Whiskey Zulu Delta, can you verify your route for me? I. Yeah, I'm going from here to Sedona. The uh, SEZ. Direct. Correct. Correct that you're doing direct or correct you have a flout. Oh, yes, I am doing direct. Correct. Roger that. Um, excuse me, Delta, your <laughs> plan out, your altitude is incorrect for your direction of travel. Can you accept a 8,000 feet? I can do that. Roger. Thank you. Whiskey Zulu Delta, 007. So you told me to change it to 8,000 feet. Whiskey Zulu Delta, flight plan of it, um, clearance available, device I'm ready to copy. Whiskey Zulu Delta, ready for any instructions. I don't know what he's talking about, this guy. In my flight plan, I was like, I'm, dear God, I'm brand new. Please help and give me easy instructions, LOL. That's literally what I put. <laughs> <laughs> Risky Zulu Delta 007, the entire clearance available, advise and ready to copy. Uh, Whiskey Zulu Delta, I am Stop ready to copy. 48, on to Phoenix Ground 132.55, good day. We'll monitor 3255, thanks, up, plus 948. Everybody's listening to me be a freaking idiot. <laughs> like, this guy's no idea what he's doing. <laughs> uh, Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, affirmative, um, clearance available, advise and ready to copy. Whiskey Zulu Delta, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, since you fired an IFR flight plan and you're in a class Bravo, you need a clearance before A, you can go into the movement area, B, so you can fly your IFR flight plan. Oh, okay, how would I go about doing that, Whiskey Zero Delta 007? So Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, um... Basically, a clearance is a clearance to fly your route. So, initially what you do is you call up either clearance for the VR ground or whoever is the lowest on in the ATC hierarchy order. You ask them, you call them up and request IF, your IFR clearance to your filed airport, which is Sedona. And another thing is you need to file in the, uh, the ICAO identifier for the airport, not just the three-letter, it's not a three-letter code, it's a four-letter code. Got it. Thank you so much. So, um, I'll give you your clearance right now and I'll tell you how you read it back, okay? Awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, you are cleared to the Sedona Airport via direct. Maintain 8,000 feet. Mm. Departure frequency 127.85, squawk 0722. This is Whiskey Zulu Delta. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. What you would say is you clear, I'm clear to Sedona Airport to the Sedona Airport via direct. Maintain 8,000. Departure 127.85 and squawk 0722. Whiskey Zero Delta 007. Yes, I am cleared for flight frequency 127.85 squawk 0722 direct to Sedona. Okay. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Um, be, you're clear to the Sedona airport. Is there a difference? <laughs> uh, yes. Cleared for flight just means you're going to go fly. Um, I'm clearing you to fly to fly to Sedona, basically. I'm clearing you for your route. Got it. Okay, awesome. Thank you. If he can hear me, girl, I think it's kind of sketchy now. Ow. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, Roger. I minute your clearance. Uh, I mean, I minute your flight plan. Uh, you require a new clearance now, so advise me ready to copy. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, I am ready to copy. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, you are cleared out of Phoenix's class Barber Air Maintain VFR at above, correction, at or below 4,500. Ooh. Squawk 0722. Uh, Oh, God. Uh, affirmative. 
Tower Whiskey Zulu Delta 007 cleared BFR at or below 4,500 feet. Squawk 0722. Risky Zulu Delta 007, read back is correct. Expect 26 for departure. It is hotel current advisory to do taxi. And uh, as a band, uh, just to inform you, I have changed your cruise up, uh, your file to cruise up to 8,500 to fit with VFR rules. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, so you want me to cruise at 8,500 or 4,500? Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, if you want to cruise at 4,500, I recommend grabbing a mining truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was concerned about. Thank you. I will amend it to 8,500 feet. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Delta 007, I've already amended it for you, sir. Roger that. I am just changing it in my autopilot. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Watch that. Ooh, girl, you don't know that I got autopilot in this thing. <laughs> 8,500. He's in a mining truck. This dude. <laughs> He's sitting at 4,500 feet like Sedona's on a hill. Awesome. Perfect. 8,500 feet. He's probably like, dude, get off of my runway. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. That, that, that was so good. That was so stressful. I've been doing this for 26 minutes. I don't know how much I freaking picked out, but good God. And I, I wonder if he actually saw me. I wonder if he's actually in here. There's another plane. There's another plane right there. I'm in the taxiway. Like, there's people probably, like, right behind me. Just, like, waiting for me. Oh, there's someone landing right there. Look at that. I didn't hear him getting cleared. I also didn't see that guy getting cleared. Man, it looks like Christmas up in here. Tower, I am ready for takeoff. Or further instructions, Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Um... Roger, unless you want to do an Alpha 2 intersection departure, since we're departing runway 26, I have to taxi around. So, uh, would you, can you accept an Alpha 6 departure? To be honest, I have no idea where the airports at are, or, or the actual landing strips are here. So, pick one. <laughs> and I'll go there. <laughs> Whiskey Zero Delta 007. Then do you have a ground chart? That is a big negative. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. Oh, just say that. I have no idea what he just said. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, the link I just sent to you is the ground chart for Phoenix. Ooh, roger that opening now. Got it. Look at me go. Okay, so. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007, squawk mode Charlie, verified squawking 0722. Verified squawking 0722. Whiskey. Zulu Delta. Whiskey Zulu Delta 007. I'm so you squawking VFR. Listen to these guys go, man. I'm just like. Runway 26, <laughs> United 2523. How do I find a thing? Man, look at all these stupid planes here. Why do we have so many planes here? I don't know how to change my squawk, dude. I don't think this thing has a squawk. It has to have a squawk. How do I do that? I'm just going to take off and be like, okay, bye. <laughs> well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your editor speaking, a.k.a. Zach. <laughs> so I'm sitting here editing this whole thing. This whole like session that I did is probably an hour and 20 minutes long, and it is taking me a long time to edit through everything. But I'm going to try to simplify some of the things. Most of the time, my push to talk button didn't work. So when he was like interrupting me, it, that wasn't his fault. I was looking up at the software and it wasn't picking it up. Um, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> Number two, now I know what he was asking. He was asking for a squat code and you can change the squat code on here, but I was trying to figure out how to change my heading and the entire game crashed. So you're going to hear me talking to another person about doing a squat code and I actually had to like Google how to change it in this plane. So this whole thing was an insane learning experience and I hope you are enjoying it because this dude is like, get out of my face, but he is so awesome. He is really freaking cool for taking the time to sit there and talk to me. And he's like, this is how you do your flight plan. This is how you get cleared for it. So now when I jump in again, I know that I need to go to either discovery or ground and I need to get my flight plan cleared. Then I need to talk to tower. Then I need to talk to uh, approach and all those guys. Like there's like a whole series of stuff that you have to do. Like this isn't something that you can just jump into. I did because I don't have any sense, but we'll get back to it. I'm going to pick up where I'm sitting in a new instance where I'm going from Phoenix to Sedona, literally right after my game crash, I just restarted it. And also 
um, this person is going to help me. And I feel like Tower is a little bit more busy because this person actually took a little bit of time with me. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. All right, well, so there's like a ton of people that are like hanging out of it. Look at these guys. They're, ru they're running into... This is what happens when you don't listen to ATC. This right here. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. This right here. That's what happened. Bam! But what is that? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. And then someone else is coming in this. Come on, guys. This guy's coming in this. Oh, my God. Come on, people. So we're going to go to here, and we are going to do our call sign as WZD7. Um, shell tear number. Cool. Tail number is... I don't care about a tail number. Let's just do WZD7. That way I'm not doing stupid whiskey Zulu. I'll just do whiskey Dulu. Dulu? Jeez. <laughs> whiskey Dulu. That's what I want to be. I want to be whiskey Dulu. They'd be like, okay, well, you're silly. Okay, so let's fly. There we go. We are back in the saddle again. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Um, um, what am I going to tell him? I maybe like, hey, <laughs> hey, guy, <laughs> I'm back. I've been doing this for 40 minutes and I still haven't taken off. Oh, my God. This is Zulu Delta 7, Vixal. Since you're on with a new call sign now, you have to refire your flight plan. God! <laughs> Roger that. I will go down to ground level and get my flight plan approved. Thank you so much. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Phoenix Ground, this is Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. How are you doing today? Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, Phoenix Ground, good evening. Doing well, thank you. <laughs> Phoenix Ground, that is awesome. I have a flight plan for you to approve. Let me know if there's any problems with it, because it's the first one I filled out ever in my life. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. <laughs> Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, no worries. Uh, right now, you have no flight plan filed. Um, they have no flight plan filed. Phoenix Ground, now if you can check Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, thank you. Stand by. Oh, girl, your boy's doing it the right way. I gotta talk to ground first, and then I'll be on my way. Wait, I just rhymed away with way. Son of an idiot. Whiskey do a Delta 7, would you like to file as an IFR or as a VFR? Phoenix ground, I will be doing VFR directly to Sedona, leaving now. Whiskey do a Delta 7. Whiskey do a Delta 7, no worries, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy's a flight man. He is a flight man. I'm a flying man. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, I have your clearance when you're ready to copy. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, I am ready to copy. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, my apologies. Can you accept a cruising altitude of 8,500? Flight level 360 is unavailable for VFR. Whiskey Zulu Delta, that is interesting because I was talking to Tower probably 10 minutes ago and he said to do that altitude, but if that's not right, I can go ahead and change it. We just watched somebody die. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7? No, no worries. Oh, there's another airplane right there. Oh, he's right there. Wow, he's gone. Oh, they were gonna talk to me. Were... Whiskey Zulu Delta 7? Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, um, for BF4 traffic, VFR typically fly below flight level 180 and in 500 increments, so either 8,500 or 7,500 or 9,500. So you can choose any altitude below flight level 180 plus 500 feet. Ground, uh, Phoenix ground is, wouldn't 8,500 still be a acceptable altitude or do I need to lower it to 7,500? What's that does? Oh, I said what's that does? Uh, Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, 8,500 is an acceptable altitude. Whiskey Zulu Delta, got it, thank you. And Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, I have amended your flight to reflect the cruising altitude of 8,500. Phoenix Ground, thank you so much. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. And Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, when you're ready, I have your clearance. 
Phoenix Ground, I am ready to copy. Whiskey Zulu Delta. Whiskey Delta 7, you are cleared out of the Phoenix Plant Robot airspace to the north. Maintain VFR at 4000 while in Bravo airspace. 0752. Phoenix Ground, can you say that last part again, Whiskey Zulu Delta? Whiskey Delta 7, Squawk 0752. Squawk is 0752. Phoenix Ground, you tell me what my next steps are because this is my first time ever doing this. <laughs> Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, no worries. Uh, for now, your readback is correct. You can expect runway 25 left for the departure and verify speed 0752. Uh, squawk go child play, please. 205 West? I don't even think there's a 205. There is no 205 West. Oh, God. There is no 205 West takeoff place. Oh, oh, God. Phoenix Ground, you said 205 West for takeoff? Key Delta 7, uh, expect runway 25 left for departure. Oh, Phoenix Ground 25 left. Affirmative, thank you. I did not hear you correctly. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, no worries. Oh, this is so difficult. So 25 left is, um, there's 25 right, 26. 25 left is a little baby one. So we need to go to rank. We're here, oh my God, we're right here. Look at us, we're good. We're gonna zoom in, we're going to this one. This one's 25 left, I think. I think, let's go over this way a little bit. Rank. That's seven. Seven right, seven left. Oh, I'm going down to the very bottom. Oh, I'm going back this way. Okay, so we're going down this way. Oh my God, I'm a genius. Not a genius. I've been doing this for 52 minutes now. <laughs> I've been recording for 52 minutes and it's taking me this long to freaking just go into the air. So see, we're going here. Blink, two five left. That is where we're going. So, we're about to watch this guy take off. And then, there he goes. See ya. Bye. It's getting dark, we watch the sun go down. Phoenix ground, affirmative. I am taxiing to two five left. I'll let you know when I get there and I will hold short. Whiskey Zulu Delta seven. You're just sitting here waiting. Playing with your light switch. Dink donk, dink donk, dink donk, dink donk, 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 dink donk, dink donk. Actually, don't do that because people, <laughs> air traffic control will sit there and look at you and be like, Phoenix Ground, good evening. Um, Giant 2985, right, Ew, what? Giant 2985, Phoenix Ground, I hear you 5x5. Five five. Right, that. Thank you. What the heck is that? They didn't even hear him say anything. He said, <laughs> Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, Barrett is clocking Book Charlie. Uh, set your transponder squawk code to 0752. Phoenix Ground, I'm not entirely sure if my plane has a squawk. Just gonna throw that out there, but I will look for it. <laughs> uh, Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, if able, if you look around your cockpit, you should see four numbers that Right now, I'm saying one two zero zero, and if you see one two zero zero, uh, you can use one of the knobs by your transponder to set that, change that number to zero seven five two. Roger that, Phoenix Ground. I see one two zero zero. Let me see what knob will correspond with that. Whiskey Zulu Delta seven. Phoenix Ground, Squawk is zero seven one zero. Whiskey Zulu Delta. Whiskey Zulu Delta seven. Thank you. If you can verify squawking mode, Charlie. Uh, that would be TA slash RA on your transponder. Uh, Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, runway 25 West, taxi, turn, my apologies, turn left onto Hotel and Hotel 7. Got it, taxi down Hotel, turn left on Hotel 7, hold short on 25 left, Whiskey Zulu Delta. Are we actually going to freaking fly? Let's take the parking, the parking brake off. Oh, oh, that's how you almost die. That right there, this guy that just hit that. And it's just slowly going in for a look. You can see his little beeps. He's beep, beep. Watch, he's just gonna come into view right there, like some weird poltergeist. Watch, look. Wait for him. Wait for him. Wait for him. Boom! <laughs> make sure we don't hit this guy. Clip this guy's head off. We're gonna make sure that we don't get the jet wash from the big old jet. Oh my God, we're actually gonna fly, guys. Whiskey Zulu Delta Seven. 
I think I gave you the wrong taxi instruction. Turn right onto hotel and taxi is run with five us via hotel, hotel seven. Phoenix ground, you got it. I think that's what you said in the first set of instructions, but I'm going down hotel and then turning left on hotel seven. Whiskey Zulu Delta seven. Whiskey Zulu Delta seven, thank you. Whiskey Zulu Delta seven, go ahead and switch to Phoenix Tower on 120.9er. Goodbye, have a good flight. Thank you so much, Phoenix Ground. You have a wonderful night. Whiskey Zulu Delta. This, like, right here is, like, freaking me out. It looks like fireworks. What is that? <laughs> We're doing it, boys. We're doing it live. I've been going for an hour and five minutes. That's how long it has been taking me to, um, <laughs> to do this. Oh, he's turning. So we're obviously turning up here somewhere. Does that dude just, like, not go the right way? He is cutting across a field. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? This is H5. So we need to go all the way down to H6. Yeah, like, we're cruising. This dude is on the runway right now. What a loser. If you look out on the left, you'll see somebody who doesn't know how to fly a plane as I'm talking. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm the one that's talking. Yeah, see, you normally follow the green lights. Phoenix Tower. I have a flight plan cleared and am awaiting runway 25L holding short. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, Phoenix Tower, hello. Uh, you've crossed the hold short line, which should be behind you. <laughs> um, for future weapons, just stop before those. One way, two, five left, line up and wait. <laughs> Phoenix Tower, yeah, my brakes are a little sticky. I am going to line up and wait. Oh, that line right there, way back there. Yeah, I was definitely coming in way too hot. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, right turn northbound, departure is approved. Wind. 250 at 6, one way 25 left, cleared for takeoff. We are cleared for takeoff, Whiskey Zulu Delta. Thank you so much, man. You've been a huge help. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Whiskey Zulu Delta. Uh, haven't sent you off uh, to uh, Unicom yet, so you stay with, with me. And now uh, we are going, ladies and gents. This is it. This is what we've all been waiting for. This is what we. This is what we do. This is what we've been. This is what we've been training for. Right here, keep that center line. Wait until we hit that 64, and we are gonna rotate. And we are Gucci. We're gonna hope that nobody comes <laughs> down, down here to, down here to crash into us. And we are, uh, we're flying over the runway, we're good. We got a positive rate of climb, we are good. Look at all those people, wow! Dude, we killed it! This is our first official, and we're flying at night, which is what I don't ever want to fly in. But man, Phoenix looks beautiful. So now basically what we're going to do, which is awesome, is I can just literally sit here, hang a right, which is something that you shouldn't do. You should definitely be above the incoming planes because we're crossing a landing pattern like right now. And then what we can do is we just turn on autopilot, and it should engage, and voila. So normal planes don't have autopilot. This is like a very fancy plane. But look at this, man. Look at how beautiful this looks. I've had dinner, like, right here in that tower. <laughs> but let's stay inside the plane and make sure that we are golden. Cool, God. This is, nope, this isn't good. Oh, okay, no, we're, okay. 358, okay. Oh, look, there's the 60. What is that? In the home of Wayne Enterprises. That's his home. Look at all these people. That I drive that all the time. Drive on that road. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, you're leaving my airspace to the north. Flight following available on Albuquerque Center 127.85. Frequency change approved to advisory 122.8. Have a good day. Phoenix Ground, thank you so much. If I need flight following, I will contact Albuquerque. Have a good night, man. Good day. Yeah, boy! I did it! I did it so much! I just want to get out of here. That, okay, cool. So now I'm not going to be on any kind of frequency because I don't want to be in the Albuquerque, New Mexico. So Phoenix Tower was Alex. Phoenix Ground was Vincent. And Albuquerque is Jeremy. Or I can talk to Oakland, California and talk to Brent. Or I can talk to Alex again on ATIS on a different frequency. So he's basically um, taking over two airspaces. I'm going to skip ahead to where we are actually landing at Sedona because I'm not going to sit here for 45 minutes. So if you were just on my Instagram, the superstition, superstition, the superstition mountains are right here. And that's where I took my picture. So go check out my Instagram. What's that does? How cool is this? Man, that guy gave me an airport diagram. Oh, what a wonderful person. Phoenix Deer Valley. Okay. So yeah, so right up here is going to be where the, uh, 202 is. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to... 
There's another plane. See ya! Oh my god! Oh, we just went through a mountain. We're going through mountains. Alright, now... This should be maybe where we need to go. Look at all these planes. Wow, there's so many people in the air right here. So there is nobody... Oh god, we passed it. <laughs> oh, there's Sedona's airport right there. And then we'll just turn off the autopilot. Whoa, we're good. We're gonna see if we can land this plane here. Because there is nobody at this uh, airport. Oh, the Albuquerque guy. <laughs> he said, are you using time acceleration? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> we are really high. So we need to take a nice little nice little deceleration turn. Turn down that throttle, look out, and hope that we don't die. Like, this is a maneuver that will make you want to die. So let's just drop. We are now at uh, 8,000. 79. Right there. There we go. Now let's do that. Flaps. There we go. Now we're lining up. About to see if your boy can land in the dark. Line it up. I'm using my mouse and my thing. Where's my trim wheel? Oh, there we go. Because I'm fighting this plane like real bad. All right. We should be good. If you don't know, Sedona is literally on top of a mountain. The airport. It is insane. Do we have like a crazy wind? Flaps are at 100. Cruising, cruising. A little bit of bumpiness. We're good. There we go. Applying brakes. Applying brakes. Applying brakes. Applying brakes. And we are in a nice, slow, acceptable roll. See if we can kind of take a nice little shortcut over to here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to park over here because I am tired of flying. How about this? This seems like a good little parking stall right underneath the street light. That way I know where I park my, park my plane. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the magneto off. Turn off the engine. Turn this guy off. This guy off. And we're done. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Holy monkeys, mother of pro 11 minutes is how long it took me to do. It took me like 12 hours or whatever. Oh, that's how that's my total time of flight. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of this, definitely let me know. I uh, hopefully I, like I'm going to keep doing this off camera, but if you guys want to be part of it, like I want to be able to be like those persons that's just like and then that's it. And I think that's pretty much it. Leave a like. I know I haven't been posting or anything like that. It seems like every video that I try, I try to record like three or four videos, but they just don't turn out good. There's not enough content or the stuff that I wanted to happen happen, but it didn't happen in the way that I wanted it to happen. So it'd be like an incomplete video. So uh, for that, I apologize, but I'm trying to get recording, but thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for pretty much everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and that's about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.